this new Windows update literally messes up with your SSD and worst case scenario it can wipe out all the data and totally break your SSD. In this quick video I want to make a short guide on how to remove the Windows update KB5638 that is wreaking havoc on the Windows systems. I'm gonna go over on why it's problematic, four ways to uninstall it and one nuclear option. And most importantly number three how to prevent Windows from reinstalling it again because it's an automatic update that can ruin your PC. So what's the actual issue with this program? Well, it messes up with your hard drives. It's already been uh, reported that if you transfer files over 50 gigabytes, it can totally, literally disappear the disk from your computer, meaning you're not gonna find it anymore, or it's gonna totally break it and you lose all your data. Other than that, it also gives weird glitches with programs like OBS. If you're having problems with OBS in the last two weeks, it's probably that. With some others like AutoCAD and a lot of other things. You can look it up online, but it's giving a lot of weird glitches and they have been reported a certain list of SSDs that have been affected. And I'm, I'm gonna put that list at the end of the video. But even with those that are not in the list, I'm still experiencing issues. Like on mine, I have I've uninstalled this update on uh, three PCs, and they uh, they all have SSDs that are not in the list but have glitches with them. Let's start with the first method. If you're lucky and everything goes well, all you have to do is right-click on the Windows icon, go to Settings, you go down on Windows Update, Windows Update History. Now here you check if you have this update or not. As you can see, I had it, mine was installed on the 14th of August, so only two days after release, and it's the KB5638.78. Now, you scroll down in this section, in Update History, and you're gonna have Uninstall Updates. You click that, now you don't see it here because I've already done it, but you will find your update here, and you click Uninstall. Now, if everything goes well, it's gonna tell you to restart your PC. Don't do it yet. Go back to Windows Update and pause updates for five weeks. Ex extend it for four weeks. And so this, when you reboot your PC, it's not gonna try to re-download the update again. This, if everything goes well. But of course, with Windows and Microsoft, nothing is as easy as it seems. I had a few errors while doing, while doing this on other PCs and now I'm gonna go over how I solved it. If the first method didn't work we can do it also in other ways and the second is to go in your search, search for command prompt cmd, run as administrator, yes and here you type this command wusa slash uninstall slash kb and here you input the number of the um, update you want to uninstall. So in this case it's 5063878 and then you just click enter. And now I'm not gonna do it because I already installed the update but yeah this is what you can do. If this uh, command also doesn't work and when you go to click on uninstall on the windows that is, so it's gonna open, there's another method. On one of my PCs it was giving me the same issue so after a lot of troubleshooting, I figured out that I had some files that were corrupted, probably from the update. And in this case, we have to restore those files. So we're gonna run that it's gonna restore the health. I'm in new click. You, I'm gonna put all these commands in the, in the description of the video. But yeah, you just run this, you wait for it to finish. I'm not gonna do it because yeah, I've already done it. Then you're gonna run the second command to check if all your corrupted files are now fixed, which is S F SFC slash scan now. You do this and you let it finish. And then you try again with uninstalling, e either from your command prompt or from the settings like the first step. Important you have to run this also as an administrator. For some people that are on Windows Pro, the problem could be the sandbox. So in order to deactivate that, we go to control panel, then you go to programs, 
turn Windows features on or off. And then we scroll down all the way and we find at the bottom Windows Sandbox. Mine is unchecked because I don't use it, but if yours is checked, uncheck it and then click OK, restart your PC and try again. Now you if you are on Windows 11 Pro and it was not letting you uninstall it, it should let you install, uh, uninstall the um, update. Once you're done and you stop the updates, you can go back here if you use Sandbox and reactivate it again. Last but not least, Windows Update lets you uninstall updates up to 10 days. So this is like the trial period after which they become permanent and you cannot un uninstall them anymore. So make sure you do it within 10 days. But for me, for example, mine was installed on the 14th and I just uninstalled it like two days ago. So I was well, I was well over that 10 days period. So what I did in another machine that wa wasn't letting me uninstall it in all the ways that I've tried, I basically turned on the update again. I downloaded the, the latest update which was this, the update that I was missing. It made me download the KB5062660 and then I could uninstall the previous one, which was the KB5063878. So give it a try, this might work as well. And lastly, the nuclear option, if all this fails and you're having issues with your, with your Windows and it's giving you problems with your programs, the only way left is to reinstall Windows 11 again. <laughs> I know it's a huge hassle, but if you are having issues, it's the only way to fix it. Otherwise, if you have it and you're not experiencing, experiencing like big glitches, you can just wait for the next update until Microsoft, a trillion dollar company, figures out his shit. Also, a lot of people reported that pausing the Windows update from the settings here in the Windows update, it didn't really stop the update to come through. Some people up rebooted their PCs and they still got the update reinstalled, even though they paused the Windows update. So what you can do is actually going through, through CMD and extend the period manually from here. And I've noticed that it doesn't do it anymore. Like mine, see, it's set on the 27th of September. And then you input this command and you just click enter. It's not gonna give you any message. You can check if it's done just by going back in the Windows settings and check the date. If it worked, it's just gonna ex extend the date you're gonna see here. If you want to be super ultra short, you can click the Windows icon R. So this is gonna open and run in the corner. You run services dot msc enter and here you scroll down right at the bottom where you find windows update you double click and here you can stop the process you can either set it on manual or disable it and this is not gonna start the, the next time and you, you're gonna be sure that it's not gonna reinstall the, the update. To verify if the update is gone for good, you can go back to the CMD, type systeminfo.exe, like it's written there, and here it's gonna load all the data. And under hotfix, you're gonna see all the installed updates. And as you can see, mine is gone, it's not, it's not longer there. If you just check the history update, it's still gonna be there, but it doesn't mean it's installed. Ah, and one more thing. Fuck Microsoft!